prove that a projectile thrown from the ground thrown from the ground strikes the ground again strikes the ground with the same speed with the same speed prove that a projectile thrown from the ground strikes the ground with the same speed uh, with which it was projected with which it was projected with which it was projected and with the same angle of projection with the same angle of projection this is the horizontal direction or uh, this is the ground a projectile of mass m is thrown from the point o and this projectile describes this type of parabolic path and uh, strikes the ground at the point b again u is the initial velocity of projection at an angle theta with the ground and the projectile strikes the ground at the point b with the final velocity v prime at the initial point t is equal to 0 and at the final point b small t is equal to capital t which is equal to capital t1 plus capital t2 capital t1 plus capital t2 where t1 is the time of ascent and t2 is the time of descent now initial velocity u is resolved into two mutually perpendicular directions here ux is the rectangular ux is the rectangular component of initial velocity in horizontal direction and ui is the rectangular component of velocity in vertical direction in vertical direction ux and ui are the two uh, rectangular components of u and here at the point b the final velocity v prime is resolved into two rectangular components vx prime and vy prime the projectile strikes the ground at the point b at an angle phi and projectile was thrown at an angle theta from the point o at the highest point a the projectile uh, will have the velocity v along the tangent a x1 parallel to the ground and uh, the rectangular component of this velocity v in vertically upward direction is ui vy which is equal to v cos 90 degree is equal to 0 because vy makes an angle 90 degree with uh, v the rectangular component of v in the same direction that is along ax1 is vx which is equal to vx v cos 0 degree is equal to ux is equal to u cos theta here ui is u sin theta and ux is u cos theta at the point o from the point a we can draw a normal a in and a in at the point n t is equal to capital t1 which is time of ascent t1 is the time of ascent the instantaneous the instantaneous velocity the instantaneous velocity of the projectile the instantaneous velocity of the projectile at the point b at which it strikes the ground the instantaneous velocity of the projectile at the point b before striking the ground is v prime is equal to root of r v x prime square plus v y prime square where v x prime v y prime are the two rectangular components of v now v x prime and v y prime are perpendicular to each other that's why v prime is equal to root over v x prime square plus v y prime square equation one this is equation one that is v prime equal to root over v x prime square plus v y prime square now the horizontal component of uh, the velocity of the projectile remains constant the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile of the projectile remains constant because there is no component of acceleration due to gravity in horizontal direction that's why horizontal component of velocity of the projectile remains constant uh, there is no acceleration in horizontal direction for the motion of a projectile therefore vx prime is equal to vx is equal to ux is equal to u cos theta using the equation using the equation 
v equal u plus at between the two points between the two points a and b during downward motion of the projectile in vertically downward direction in vertically downward direction we get v prime x y v y prime is equal to minus v y plus plus g into t2 capital t2 is the time of descent we are using the equation v equal u plus at we are using the equation v equal u plus at between the two points a and b a and b and here the final velocity v is equal to vy prime and for initial velocity ui at the point a we have to consider the rectangular component vy in vertically upward direction we are using the equation v equal u plus at in vertically downward direction but the rectangular component of velocity that is vy vy is in the upward direction that's why u is uh, taken as minus v y u equal minus vy because vy is is in the vertically upward direction so here v in place of v we can write vy prime in place of initial velocity u we can write minus vy in place of acceleration a we can write plus g plus g where small g is the acceleration due to gravity so therefore vy prime is equal to minus 0 plus g t2 where vy is equal to v cos 90 degree which is equal to 0 so finally we get vy prime as equal gt2 and vy prime as equal gt2 where t2 is equal u sin theta divided by g which is the time of descent uh, t2 is equal u sin theta divided by small g which is the time of descent or time taken by the projectile to move from the point a to b during downward motion therefore v prime y is equal to g u sin theta divided by g therefore v prime y is equal to u sin theta v prime y or v y prime is equal to u sin theta that is the vertical component of velocity at the point b in vertically downward direction therefore v prime is equal to root over v x prime square plus v y prime square putting the expression we get root over u cos theta whole square plus u sin theta whole square root over u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta root over u square is taken common under bracket cos square theta plus sin square theta or sin square theta plus cos square theta equal root over u square only since sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 therefore v prime is equal to therefore v prime is equal to u hence v prime is equal to u v prime is equal to u and here we can write that the projectile strikes the ground the projectile strikes the ground at the point b with the same velocity the projectile uh, strikes the ground with the same speed v prime with which the projectile was thrown or was projected from the point to at an angle theta the projectile strikes the ground with the same speed with which it was projected at the point b tan phi is equal to v y prime divided by v x prime now putting the expression of v y prime and v x prime now v prime uh, we can draw the diagram again taking v prime as the diagonal of a rectangle and v prime makes an angle phi with the horizontal direction and tan phi will be equal to v y prime divided by v x prime putting the expression we get u sin theta divided by u cos theta therefore tan phi is equal to tan theta therefore phi is equal to theta phi is equal to theta hence proved that means the projectile returns the ground with the same angle with which it was projected from the ground hence the projectile 
Hence, the projectile returns to the ground. Returns to the ground. Hence, the projectile returns to the ground at the same angle. At the same angle phi. Same angle with which it was projected. The projectile returns to the ground at the same angle with which it was projected. Therefore, at the point O, angle theta and at the point B, angle phi will be equal. Hence, the projectile returns to the ground. The projectile returns to the ground at the same angle with which it was projected. The projectile returns to the ground at the same angle with which it was projected.